Hi guys, I'm Andy and welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. Right, today we're doing the third part of a three part series on backpacking and wild camping for beginners. Now, this video, the aim is to get your gear ready so you can go up, up on those mountains and what to expect. So far we've done a novice video an intermediate video and this is the advanced video. So far we've talked about what kit you need like a backpack, a tent, sleeping bag, sleeping mat and then we also looked at camp cooking and other bits of equipment when you're away from home. So the first thing with mountain camping you've got to realise you're high up, you're completely out of the way and you're quite isolated but that doesn't matter as long as you're prepared. The conditions up in the mountains change all the time and quite often multiple times of the day. Now the first thing you've got to be prepared for is rain. We already talked about getting a nice waterproof jacket in the intermediate video but now you're going to need some fully waterproof bottoms. I use some just for a mountain warehouse. To be honest I've been in absolute torrential rain in these a few times and they've kept me really dry so I highly recommend those but also what you're going to need is a proper layering system especially on your top. Now I would invest in some merino wool base layers either merino wool or bamboo um, it doesn't really matter what brand you get how much you spend it's just about the material and this is the merino wool base layer i use it's dhb it's basically wiggle's own brand absolutely brilliant there really nice and breathable but what's quite important when they do take on moisture and they do get a little bit wet they keep you warm as well but it's really good at regulating your temperature hot when you're cold, cold when you're hot. I also use bamboo base layers too, like these OEX ones from my bottom. They're really, really comfy, really comfy, and they have similar properties to merino wool. The other thing that you've got to do is either you have to either definitely use dry bags or you need to get a rain cover for your backpack. For the majority of the year, can still get really cold up in those mountains so I would always make sure I've got a little hat and also some little gloves ideally waterproof gloves but if not definitely wind blocker gloves because it can get really cold up there again most parts of the year up in those mountains even in spring and autumn can get really cold now we've already said you know ideally you want a three season tent but if you start going up in those mountains i would get yourself a four season sleeping bag it doesn't have to be one of the huge down sleeping bags that goes down to like minus 30 you know just a sort of four season sleeping bag should keep you nice and warm for quite a lot of that year. Now if you're going up in those mountains, one thing that I'd highly recommend is a first aid kit. It's the first time where you truly, really do need a first aid kit. It can be something small like this. This is absolutely packed full of kit this is. Only weighs 135 kilos, doesn't cost a lot either. There's no excuses not to take one. Now one thing you might want to look at investing in is a set of trekking poles especially if you have problems with your back or your knees or maybe your fitness isn't quite as good as it could be these are carbon ones i think they cost 40 pound but you can get some brilliant trekking poles for 20 pound a pair so you know have a look on amazon um because there's some absolute bargains out there now it's not all about being in the wet being in the cold you've also got to be prepared for those sunny days too so i'd always take some sunglasses and sun cream when you're camping in the mountains as i said it's really isolated now quite often over here in the uk you can still get signal maybe not exactly where you are but if you did a little bit of walking in one direction or another you can usually get signal but i would always always take a power pack it's so important that you'll be able to communicate with people just in case you get into trouble now one thing about camping up in the mountains 
it can get windy and it can get rainy now sleep is definitely definitely affected trust me it really is so do yourself a favor and just make sure you've got an eye mask and you've got some earplugs because if you're like me and when you get woke up it's quite often hard to get back to sleep and when you're walking up in those mountains you get really hot really quickly, even in winter. Now, I try and keep my hygiene levels high, and these little things, absolute godsend. Little hygiene wipes and a little can of antiperspirant. These weigh nothing and take up no space, but I just like being clean. It's also worth taking some jungle formula too, especially if you plan on camping near the tarns because there can be a lot of midges and mosquitoes and this is a little lifesaver this is when you're hiking up those mountains you're going to burn a serious amount of calories me personally i try and avoid dehydrated food they're only ever going to give you about 500 calories per packet i prefer to take real food with me and it's so much nicer at the end of a really hard day also when you're hiking you're going to be going through a lot of water so if you've got any sort of sachet with electrolytes in it that's absolutely brilliant and me myself i always carry an emergency gel because you don't want to crash halfway across a ridge and if you are struggling a little gel gives you that little bit of pick me up just to get you across that ridge line now if you're thinking about going up in those mountains i'll just make sure you have at least got a three season tent you don't really want a single skin tent with loads of mesh you'll be cold like unless it's the height of summer you're going to get cold but something like this nature height cloud peak 2 is absolutely brilliant it's at this level where i really recommend a water filtration system especially if you're around those tarns sometimes you get a bit of stagnant water you want to filter that water as before always tell someone where you're going and always always leave no trace now what i've decided to do next is do an expert level now this talking about going up in those mountains to be honest i'm really talking about three seasons maximum in my expert level video for backpacking and wild camping for beginners i'll tell you how to deal with the worst of conditions and i'm talking high winds high rain severe cold and just the worst conditions and what you need because if you're serious about this if you know the ultimate kit that you need to survive and enjoy yourself you can see where you need to get to and it will probably affect what buying decisions you make so hopefully you got something out of this video if you haven't before check out parts one and two and wait for part four because you don't want to miss that but if i haven't before stay safe and i'll see you up that mountain soon cheers